Hello, and this is a quick video on FTP or file transfer protocol, kind of what it is and why you'll want it. What FTP allows us to do is access the files on our server directly from our desktop. So with an FTP program, currently we're using FileZilla for the PC. You can also use Fetch, F-E-T-C-H, for a Mac. In this instance, uh, the FileZilla program. When we type in our host name, which is typically going to be FTP dot your domain name dot com followed by the username to your hosting account and the password to your hosting account you can leave the port empty it'll connect to the server and currently on the right right hand panel we're looking at the remote site right here which is the we're in the J15 folder this is a Joomla installation a full Joomla 1.5 installation and we're inside our on our desktop, you can see that we're at the desktop in the Sites folder inside a folder called New Joomla Site. And we've just installed this uh, Joomla uh, 1.5 at uh, 99clients.com. So if we go to 99clients.com forward slash J15, we're going to see a default Joomla installation uh, with all of the, again, with the default template and everything for Joomla 1.5. So first thing first, one thing I'd recommend doing is downloading your entire your entire uh, site to your desktop just to back it up. Uh, this is the first step that we do just for precaution. You can simply uh, select a file and then hold down shift and click on the last file and then simply drag them over into the folder and it'll download all the, uh, the files onto your desktop. The reason we're going to be using FTP and we want to know how to use it and be comfortable with it uh, is Moving forward, we're going to be adding it. You can add images to your to your Joomla installation here. Go to the images folder, and then into the stories folder. And here's all the the uh, the images that are, that are going to be used uh, throughout the website. Using uh, when we go to add an image to um, to an article, you can also create additional direct directories here by right clicking and click create directory and call it uh, you know PDF. And now we have a folder that we can store PDFs in. We can create another directory called Docs. Now we have one we can we can store Word Docs in. Uh, and the reason that we want to do that once when we log back into Joomla and we we are um, logged into the Media Manager when we go to manage our content moving forward. Let me log in here real quick. When we go to the Media Manager we're going to be able to see those new folders inside the stories folder. So here's all the files that we're able to see on the FTP side. And when we go inside the stories folders, we now see the docs and the PDF folder. So it's another way to create, uh, to upload things to our server. It's, uh, it's fast. It's easy. Uh, we can also um, edit. We're going to need to edit some files when we go to start customizing templates. We'll go into the template folder. We can go right into the template files as, we, uh, as needed. And we can add images to our, our template. We can change the headers and the header file, uh, so we can change graphics on the site and whatnot. You're going to be you're going to want to be comfortable with uh, using FTP and know how it works or how this interface works that we're looking at here. Uh, and that's pretty much um, all there is to it. You know, you be comfortable with the file structure on the right. Realize that that is the live files on your server, and if you delete anything over here, um, it, it's gone. So uh, you want to make sure that you've backed everything up. You know, grab the whole administrator folder and copy it over to your desktop, uh, and do the same thing with every other folder, so you're backing everything up. At a later date, where I'll show you how to install uh, a, an automated backup system for Joomla, so it backs up. Uh, you know, you can make it back up nightly or every other day or whatever works for you. So um, this is FTP, and again, this is FileZilla, uh, and again for Mac folks, you can go use uh, Fetch. So I hope that was helpful.